All right, hello everyone. This is Mark Rice. I wanted to show you my first hydrogen generator. This is a very small one. It's the equivalent of a five plate hydrogen generator. It has four cavities. The idea here is to use electrolysis to separate hydrogen and oxygen from water. The ultimate goal to be able to uh, use these gases to, to power an engine or possibly, hopefully even my car. To not not a hundred percent, but to a great extreme, and extend the gasoline mileage quite a bit. This one was built from uh, wall plate covers for uh, blank wall plate covers available at, at the Lowe's Home Improvement Store. And what I've done is I've taken five of them. Because of the space limitations, I, I use this jar, or I'm going to use this jar as, as my my tank. But what I've done is I have ground the bevel off two of the plates those shall be the positive plates and they are surrounded by well there are four but they're the equivalent of three since two are back to back and in contact with each other uh, negative plates the negative plates uh, from what I understand will generate the hydrogen while the oxygen uh, is generated by the the positive plates these insulating washers or spacers I wasn't able to, lo to locate locally so I fabricated these from the, the top of a five gallon bucket I, I cut strips or squares out and uh, drilled uh, quarter inch holes in the center. I put them on a long quarter inch bolt, chucked them in a 3 8 inch drill, uh, essentially using the drill as a mini lathe, fastened the drill down, turned on the drill. I used a rasp to round the corners off so we have nice round insulator washers. The, uh, the bar conductors are made from, from a, a very large stainless steel hose clamp. Everything going in the water here is stainless steel. Uh, from what I understand, copper or, or any ferrous metals will, will dirty the, the solution up quite a bit. But this is all stainless steel. I'm going to put it in the jar full of water and, and put some power to it and we'll see how it performs. So in this jar here, this is nothing more complicated than a pickle jar. I'm going to lower the uh, plates down into the water. This is just tap water from my right out of my kitchen sink here. Okay, I'm going to attach these alligator clips which are from a, a battery charger. Okay, there's the positive. Here's the negative. I'll turn on the power to the battery charger and we should I'm, I'm seeing some very small bubbles. There they come. I'm seeing the bubbles rising out. Let me move the camera a little, a little closer so that you might can see down in there. I'm doing this on my stove top simply because the light is better. Okay, you can probably see the, the little bubbles rising off there, a little, little small foam. That is hydrogen and oxygen gas. This is nothing more than and tap water and through electrolysis where we are separating hydrogen and oxygen. It should be a very very flammable gas combination. Just for the sake of curiosity, probably bad tape, probably bad judgment, I'm going to take this lighter and see if I can ignite a little bit of it just to demonstrate that it is a flammable gas. Can you hear the hear the bubbles exploding? A little tiny explosions of bubbles exploding there. That's that's the gas exploding. Uh, my next part of this project will be to I'll fasten a, a top on the jar. I'll, I'll make a penetration where we can extract the gas out. We'll connect it to a bubbler. We'll we'll harvest the gas from the bubbler, which is really just a fancy spark arrestor to keep everything exploding. Should we get a backflash, and hopefully we can make a little mini torch to prove our point and uh, this is just a small model of the larger one that I've started working on. I want to build a larger one, mount it on my car, see what, if I can improve my gas mileage and, and uh, re reduce my gasoline consumption by augmenting it with the hydrogen. Once again, let's see if we, let's see if we can't uh, uh, ignite some of this. The, the popping and cracking you're hearing, well I'm hoping you're hearing it on the video. Is hydrogen and oxygen exploding burning right here. Well that's it for this installment 
evidently the process works. I'll be checking back in with you and posting another video when, when I uh, work out and, and refine the system a little bit. This is just a small model, uh, something anybody can build. I built this at home on my kitchen table. Uh, might be a, another explanation of why I'm a bachelor. But anyway, there it is. Hydrogen and oxygen parts bought from the local home, imp home improvement store Lowe's. Probably just, uh, oh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We have uh, uh, six plates involved. Those came at a cost of about a dollar twenty-nine. So we're all in all, we're looking under ten dollars to build this hydrogen generator right here. Blew my lighter out. It is explosive gas. We'll be improving on it. Thank you very much. Goodbye.